Starting now, this is Real People. Real issues, real news, real people. I'm Stephanie Allensworth, and this is Real People. This is Real People. Today, I'm sitting down with actress, model, and coach, Miss Denisha. Welcome to the show, Miss Denisha. Hello. Thanks for having me. Well, thanks for being here. Um, so we're going to talk a little bit today about everything that you do, from your background, how you got started, uh, what you've been doing lately, because I know you've had some really cool stuff going on, and then um, what you're going to do in the future, because I know you've got big plans. Yes, I do. <laughs> so um, basically how I got started, um, I would say it was a sense of my expression with my clothing. My mother always said, you dress weird. <laughs> and I took it as a compliment. Um, you know, expressing yourself through your clothing, um, and then it kind of transformed to my hairstyles. Um, I'm always getting hair sponsors now. You've seen a lot of my transitions. Mm -hmm. um, on my website, I have a lot of different hairstyles in my portfolio. So I go from natural afros to a, you know, a straight bob. And this is a, <laughs> a wig, you guys. Just mm -hmm. so you know, that's my little secret. <laughs> And um, what I've been doing um, after I decided I want to be a model, I moved to New York at the age of 19, and I pursued my dreams of being a model, and uh, got married, moved here, and you know how life happens, and I decided to come up with the slogan, keep it on push, mm -hmm. and by keeping it on push, that just means you continue to go through and push through your dreams or whatever you desire to keep you moving forward, so that's what I did. I uh, just kept it on push uh, after I moved from, Minneapolis, from the Big Apple of New York to the Minneapolis of Minneapolis. <laughs> <laughs> to the mini apple. Yes, correct. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So you've been back and forth a lot, though. You don't just shoot here and work here. You go all over the place. I right? sure do. And I yeah. love to travel. I absolutely love traveling. And so once I did move from New York, um, from the Big Apple to the Minneapolis of Minneapolis, I started getting involved with um, the professionals here. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've actually worked for uh, the artist from you know, as, as Prince. I actually mm -hmm. was in several of his uh, live performances and things like that. I got a, a great agent, uh, more creative, signed me at one point exclusively. So, um, and then Karen's, you know, they're, they're another modeling um, agency as well as a modeling school. And that's really how I got my start here. I started teaching um, for Karen's and Karen's International. And then on top of that, I actually went to, um, be uh, in videos, music videos, oh. and really didn't see myself as a music uh, vixen, as they call it, mm -hmm. uh, you know, a video vixen, but I will say that um, it did help my career. I did things for um, Wu-Tang Clan, you know, RZA, who's a huge artist. Um, I've been on episodes for The Cosby Show when I was living in New York. So um, television and film kind of um, gave me those opening doors before the modeling industry kind of did, believe it or not. Oh, I wasn't yeah. aware of that actually. I thought you were doing the modeling before you started acting, but you you got a jump start on acting in New York. Absolutely, so, yes. Very good, yes. very good. Well, I just want to go back down memory lane because I think the first time we met, you were my my coach for runway modeling at Karen's. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> and so um, again, that's also what led to me being a well-known model coach today. Mm -hmm. It's because I did teach. Um, at other facilities mm -hmm. and Karen being one of them and then coaching yourself and then you also attended my program which mm -hmm. is called the modeling boot camp um, Miss Nisha's modeling boot camp be the start that you are program and you attended that and then started kind of your own thing and um, that's how we kind of stay connected exactly. so yes and so the modeling um, coaching has been a great um, passion it's given me a lot more um, life as to this industry because it's a tough industry to stay to stay in, oh, yeah. you know, to stick and stay. Mm -hmm. So um, as a model coach, it's more fulfilling because I'm helping other aspiring talent, other models, other actors and actresses get into the business, even children. You know, I even help children and, and coach parents as to how to be uh, a stage mom or, uh, you know, a backstage uh, stage mom. And sometimes they want to be up front. I've had some parents that, you know, start with the kids and then they, <laughs> they end up wanting to be lights, camera, action. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that yeah. happens a lot. Lot. It does. It does. <laughs> it's not really about the kids. It's about them. <laughs> yeah, and I and I've learned that. And um, when uh, when you find that, as they call it, stage mom, mm -hmm. and those that are really aggressive, you you really gotta 
take a back seat and help them understand that, you know, this is really about whether the child wants to do it or not. Exactly. You know? Yeah. So for me, um, I just love coaching um, in all aspects of it. You know, yeah. so which is kind of what inspired my book that's going to be coming out soon. <laughs> oh, you got a book? I know. do. Tell us about that. Okay, so my book is going to be self-published, and it's going to be just as my title of my boot camp, Miss Tanisha's Modeling Boot Camp, uh, How to Get Started in Modeling. And it's gonna be volume one. I think I'm gonna break it up into either two for sure, possibly three. And then I'm gonna probably, um, my, my goal is to eventually do a children's version for the parents as well. Mm. But first I'm gonna do one for, you know, the teenagers, the adults, the men, women, and children that kind of can read, you know, kind of get their own book. But then I want to do a book for parents that want to get their children, you know, the younger children. We're talking like four right. toddlers, babies into that, the industry. It's so important that the parents really know what to expect because they may not always know what they're getting themselves into. You always have to be on. You can't just say, um, well, we don't want to do that one because we're too busy doing this. You know, this is a job. It's a career. It is. And, and what what they don't realize a lot of times is it has a reflection on you as the coach. It does. If they fail to perform or come through. So and what it's, you're saying, Stephanie, so is, important. it's what you're saying is so true because a lot of times um, I've referred people to agencies, legitimate agencies, mm -hmm. and then I'm getting these random phone calls. They didn't show up or they didn't, um, you know, they weren't prepared when they did get a job or on audition. Mm -hmm. And so you're right, it is a reflection as a model coach. And so now I try to make it very strict rule that until you are ready, until you have taken all the steps, including the two-day course, including your photos and your comp card and things that I feel really um, shows me that you're serious, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, then you can refer me or get referred by me to an agency and use my name as a referral. Exactly. Until then, I'm, I'm kind of putting a halt on that because I was getting kind of burned with a lot of people taking the two-day camp and then all of a sudden, boom, agents are calling me like, oh, this person said they came through your mm -hmm. program, but they didn't show up. What happened? So mm -hmm. you're absolutely right. Yeah, they don't want to do the homework. They, you know, they want to have the fun part of it, but not do the homework yes. and the follow-up and, and the understanding that this is a career choice. It's not just, you know, something for fun. If this is just a hobby, don't do it. Exactly. It's not a hobby. <laughs> and that's true. Um, if you do it as a hobby, you still got to follow those rules, though. Mm -hmm. If you do it as a hobby, then do the volunteer, do the events in the community mm -hmm. that, you know, are for volunteers and for people that's yeah. a hobbyist. But if you want to do it as, like you said, it is a career. It is mm -hmm. a J-O-B. When you get paid, you know, and I can pay my bills off of, you know, modeling gigs and modeling mm -hmm. bookings, then it is a career. And that's how people need to perceive it. And I try to coach that moving forward all the time and I'm a life coach mm -hmm. as you know mm -hmm. you know I mean your I'm on your life uh, your, your life for life once you you know once you take my program just like yourself and um, that's how we stay connected is because I was constantly saying what's going on Steph what are you you know what do you got going on Stephanie and so um, I found out about your great adventures because you're a boot camp alumni I'm just gonna brag about it, you guys she is a boot camp <laughs> alumni and um, you know we this industry all goes hand in hand you know acting modeling um, producing, but in front of the camera, mm -hmm. behind the camera, mm -hmm. you know, it all goes hand in hand. It's an industry of arts, you know, and entertainment. Yeah. So. Well said, well said. Yes. Yeah. Well, thank you. <laughs> I almost want to interview her right now. <laughs> We're going to flip the script here, yes, huh? Yes. Um, so, but I, I would like to uh, share with uh, your audience that um, I did start, as you know, my first annual Achievement Awards ceremony. Um, it's actually uh, a combination of an award ceremony and a fashion show, and it just um, passed a couple weeks ago on June 3rd, and I honored you as one of my first recipients, and that was because of what you're doing right here, right now with me. You uh -huh. know, you have your own show, um, you're an author and that sort of thing and so um I mean, would it be a good time to break out your award? <laughs> can we show it? <laughs> we can show it. Yes. She had me bring it, okay? I did. So. <laughs> I designed this award she designed for, it. for my students. Um, and this is an achievement um, logo there. And of course, 2018 was the first uh, year that we did this. And I was very proud and excited to um, showcase my students. And moving forward, we already have the second annual, believe it or not, already. Oh. Yeah, June 22nd, 2019. Wow. <laughs> 
<laughs> I yes. already have booked that. So well, it was an honor being being there, and we were also there with our camera. So we're going to have some footage of it as well. So we'll be we'll be showing some of that um, when we get it all edited up. So I'm yeah. super excited to see it all. Yeah, it's going to be beautiful. We got a lot of really good footage of it, and your students were beautiful. The clothes were beautiful, and and of course. You know, getting an award too isn't too shabby. No. <laughs> so. And she worked that runway. I'm gonna tell you, <laughs> Stephanie worked that runway. Don't let us sit here and fool you, sitting up here with her legs crossed and all. Yes, she can work that runway. I was very proud when you <laughs> when you came down the runway. And that's another thing, though, Stephanie, is that with this industry, you can do it at all ages. Mm -hmm. You can do it at all ages. I mean, people think, oh, you gotta be, you know, this 16, 17 year old, five foot ten, size two. Absolutely not. False. Mm -hmm false false so um, that's another uh, reason why I love coaching is because it allows me to help people that have a dream of becoming a model or an actor or mm -hmm. entertainer that you can do this yeah. you can do this there is no specific box you have to be in break the barriers of the industry show them yeah. that you have something to offer the beauty industry the fashion industry mm -hmm. the entertainment of arts so um, that's what I love about um, about yeah. coaching as well. And you know, curves are natural. Yes. You know, it's the I got curves. Yeah, I got <laughs> curves. I got stick. plenty of curves. Yes. So um and and where we're going today is away from the, the twiggy look. Correct. And getting back into the natural look. And I see so many ads now that are really embracing a woman's body instead of trying to hide it. All exactly. The time. So so it's a good time to be in the business. It really is. So, Absolutely. Yeah. And the industry is also embracing what some would call flaws, mm. you know, mm -hmm. skin conditions, you know, different things that are not considered perfect mm -hmm. anymore. And I love that. I absolutely love mm -hmm. that. I have seen um, young women and young girls, um, and I, I'm going to speak about primarily women of color who have that skin pigmentation where they're darker skin, they also have the lighter spots, mm -hmm. and they're being accepted into this industry of fashion. Mm -hmm. And I love it in the beauty, beauty industry because beauty comes in all shapes and colors it and does. I absolutely love that yes it's all about self-love right it and really if you is can, when you love yourself it all just beams right out of you it so, does so that's where it all starts on the inside and then you'll be beautiful and we are all are beautiful inside and yes. out um, you just have to know it and own it you have to know it and you have to own it and that's mm -hmm. a, another reason for my program mm -hmm. is because my slogan is be the star that you are Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. how bright you shine is up to you. So, mm -hmm. you know, you look up in the sky and you see all these millions of billions. I'm not even sure how many stars up in the sky, but it's, yeah. it's quite a few. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Too many to count. Yes. <laughs> and the brightest one is the one we notice. Mm -hmm. Okay. So how bright you shine is really up to you. Mm -hmm. And so my modeling bootcamp program, I feel it's not just about modeling. I really pride myself on the beauty inside, like you stated, the mm -hmm. professionalism, um, making people understand they're go-getters, entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. This is an entrepreneur business. It is. You know? Mm -hmm. You're not clocking in and out of a uh, mm -hmm. you know, a nine to five. So it is entrepreneur business. So that entrepreneurship um, for me is, is is so important nowadays, you know? Yeah. And giving people that confidence, right. you know, that self-esteem. Uh, uh, I'm your biggest cheerleader. I'm telling you, I will cheer you on and um, you make, you feel, see. make you feel like a rock star. <laughs> yes, make you feel like a rock star. And I love that. For me, um, it's really fulfilling, Stephanie. Mm -hmm. It really is fulfilling for me to do yeah. what I do uh, with my students. And that's why Be the Star Jar is so important. Um, that slogan, and for people to really know what that means, it mm -hmm. really is important. And I was honored um, back in 2010. Uh, it was Women Unite to Win in 2010. Mm. And they honored me. And I was up there giving a speech speech after um, we're talking military women and doctors and people that I felt had really made a, a tremendous difference in the world and for me to be honored because of my program I was like oh my goodness um, I mean it just it just I, I just couldn't even believe it and I, I explained what Be The Star Jar was about and in the audience they got it you know they got it and I stick to that to this day and then um, the other thing with my program that I'm really um, I'm really proud of is that it also takes has a lot to take away. So if you never become a model or an actor, you still have those life skills. Mm -hmm. You have those life skills, how to um, interview, how to speak in public, um, how do you dress, you know, appropriately for a job or an opportunity, mm -hmm. you know, how do you take care of your skin, you know, how do you yeah. apply your makeup without looking like, you know, 
yeah. a clown. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, you don't have to have blue eyeshadow on and lashes out to here, you know. So, <laughs> and so we teach all of that um, in our program so people can take away life skills. Mm -hmm. And I have been blessed for my program to also be in schools. I don't know if you knew that. I did not. But my program has been in a couple of schools. Um, it was in uh, Farnsworth mm -hmm. in, um, in uh, St. Paul and uh, Farnsworth Aerospace in St. Paul. Uh, I've done after school programs uh, over North, in North High. Oh. I've also been in Wyzetta's after school program for at risk youth. And I've been in um, a school in uh, Baltimore as well. Bern Bernard, yeah, oh, Bernard wow. Elementary. Elementary. So um, my program has also um, been recognized as a way for students or young, the young generation or young people in their actual schools um, to enhance their, I, would, I wouldn't say their curriculum, you know, but it's more of, like you said, that self-esteem mm -hmm. and that um, confidence and getting them prepared for life after school. You know, we right. all have to grow up and leave school. It, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And, and learning how to speak properly, how to dress properly, how to wear your makeup properly so that you don't go in looking like, eh, well, we're not sure, you know, yeah. that's also important. And sometimes that, you know, depending on your upbringing, that youth get, get, gets missed, you it, know, it, and it's yes. important for the boys just as much as it is the girls. Yes. So. And you know what, it's interesting you say that because at Bernard um, Elementary in Baltimore, that is exactly what the principal, uh, Mark, said to me. He mm -hmm. said, you know, if the young ladies are carrying themselves a certain way, the boys will follow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I, I had no idea that that kind of went hand in hand. It's like if, if the young ladies are demanding that you respect me, you know, you treat me a certain way, the boys will follow. And then everyone is, you know, doing better. Mm -hmm. in general versus doing all these you know yeah. things to get attention in a negative right the bullying and that sort of thing and you know the you know boys they you know pull your hair if they like you you <laughs> yes. know that's like no that's not how we work it here no <laughs> and that's exactly right yes. back in the day boys would do the naughtiest things to girls that they liked and you're yes. like what is your problem you know yeah. and so when my program was looked at like that i said wow this is a really great um, way of looking at my program enhancing mm -hmm. the girls that will also eventually enhance the boys and then we teach nutrition you yeah. know, we teach nutrition as well. So uh, moving forward with my Achievement Awards ceremonies, we are going to start tagging it to a cause. I'm not sure okay. if you remember me doing Catwalk for the Cure. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Yeah. And I used to do Catwalk for the Cure, and um, that was a great success. That we, was a breast cancer cure, by the way. Yeah. Yep, yeah, we did. Mm -hmm. We did do the breast cancer cure, and I actually walked till two of my big toes fell off. Oh. I walked the 60 miles in three days for season G. Coleman. I'm, I'm yes. hoping that's not literally. <laughs> yes. Yeah, literally my two two of my big toes, my toenails, oh, the toenails, oh, okay. not the toes. <laughs> I apologize. The two of my big toenails fell off completely. Oh my God, but that's still, that's still quite the commitment. <laughs> After walking 60 miles for the Susan G. Coleman, which you had to raise a good amount to yeah. participate. I think back then I had to raise like 21 or $2,300 and I raised that money and then some at my Cat for the Cure. Oh, so that goodness. was awesome. So yeah. I, I participated, I walked in that. And then after um, doing that, we did uh, Toys for Tots with the Marines. A few oh. of the Marines came out and I did a history on that and how they came about. Didn't know Toys for Tots for Tots was tied to them, mm -hmm. but they are to the Marines. And so they came out and then we um, raised money for Minnesota Food Shelf as well. Um, I did, I collaborated with Lavender, uh, Lavender Magazine back in the day and we did HIV AIDS awareness. I've also um, given a, a check to Urban League for HIV AIDS awareness, uh, awareness over North. So uh, my Catwalk for the Cures um, or Catwalk for the Cause, sometimes we mm -hmm. do either or, um, those are really success. So now I want to tie in the, um, annual achievement awards with a great cause. Mm -hmm. And so the second annual one, we already have a young lady who her uncle asked me to honor her and try to help raise money for her. She has autism. Okay. Yes, yeah, she has autism. Mm -hmm. So we are going to put her on the runway. So she would be walking in our fashion show on the second annual um, achievement awards. And um, you know, we're looking for organizations to kind of partner up with, um, to teach us and help us with autism. They're trying to get a, a device that helps her communicate. Okay. Yes, that helps well, her communicate I, better. Well, I'm, I don't know if I can say their name right now, but I know an organization in town that, that is all about autism. So, and 
uh, I'm just going to say it just in case, but it's the Fraser organization. Okay. And, and um, I have, I know somebody that works there. So let's see if we can't make that connection for you. Fantastic. So yeah. June 22nd yeah. of 2019, uh, that is the commitment I think we date. have time. <laughs> yes, we have time. And we are going to um, try and um, partner with as many organizations as we can because I would like not only her to be on the runway, but maybe a few other children yeah. with, with autism to be yeah. on the runway. Oh, it would be so fantastic yes. for them. Yes. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Yes. That's, everything that you've been saying is absolutely beautiful and Thank it just you. makes you glow. You should just see your face right now. You're just <laughs> glowing and beaming. Because I mean, I literally love so, what I do. You're so proud of what you do I, I, and I you love should what I do. be because it's all wonderful stuff, all giving for the right reason. The right reason is what I'm all about. Yes. It's paying it forward and being of service to others and and our, it's, it's what this in this day and age we need so much more we of. need so much more of it yes yeah. I agree yeah yeah so um, well so now we've already gone through where you've been and where you're going <laughs> so uh, we, we bolted through that pretty fast so w what else is going on give me some more absolutely um, I am not a designer but I love fashion absolutely love uh -huh. fashion and um, as you know at the first achievement award ceremony I honored two of my students who were designers, one as young as 16 years old who had been sewing since she was 13, you know. So what I'm trying to do now is really start gauging and getting more of the resumes from my students. What are they doing now? What are they up to, you know? Mm -hmm. where, are they, where are they headed? You know, as they say, where are they now? Okay, mm -hmm. that's kind of my uh, search right now. And I had one student that could not be there. Um, his name was Gilbert, Gilbert uh, Sancion, and Gilbert, um, Gilbert Fallen Sancion. That is his actor's right. name. He yeah. made that very clear. Um, and he could not be present, but he was getting an award. He was going to be honored for all the achievements that he's done. But he got called literally to leave the country, go be out of the country. Mm. Literally the day of the first achievement right. awards for a project that he auditioned for, that now they came back and said you need to be here for the next one or two months. Oh wow! Yes, so that's yeah. kind of my um, my new quest is to see what mm -hmm. my students have been up to. Yeah, so, kind of like yourself. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's it's. <laughs> Yeah, I, I was just thinking when you were saying that that it would be interesting when you get, you know, when you first bring them on and get their resumes as well to see what little seeds they already have planted yes. and maybe you can help them pull those out and help that flower grow a little more. You know? Absolutely. So, yeah, and, and so then as they progress and into, you know, the business and become entrepreneurs themselves, yes. because being a model, being an actor, being a producer is being an entrepreneur, it all is. of it is. It so is. it's not just, you know, for you and I, but if you're just a model, not just a model, but if you're a model, you are an entrepreneur. You're in charge of your own pay. Correct. So and it's, that's exactly right. You're in charge of your own pay if you want to do an assignment or how hard you kind of push yourself, yeah. you know. And negotiate, ne negotiate contracts your rates and, and contracts rates, yep. and yeah. Exactly. So, yeah. So I, I mean, it is the business of the business. You know? <laughs> the business of the business. I like that. The business of the business. Okay, yeah. I might have to. Cop you, can, that. you can borrow that one. I can borrow sure. that one. Okay. Fantastic. <laughs> so. Um, with that being said, I have kind of launched my own agency, which I don't talk a lot about because mm. it's not really open to the public. This is another way for me to just gain um, um, awareness for my students or get my students in front of clients. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's not really for me to say, oh, you know, I got this agency, come sign in, come list it. I, that's not what it's about. It's another avenue per se, mm -hmm. for students to come and be still coached. Mm -hmm. I'm still right. coaching them, I'm still helping them, I'm yeah. still guiding them through the agency. So it's only boot camp alumni, yeah. you know, such as yourself or whomever has mm -hmm. come through the program, then I will continue to manage them through, through that. Right. Finding them um, events that maybe for the community, they may not be paid, but it's also, again, allowing them to get that extra experience. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely. So with that, um, that's kind of my new adventure that I mm -hmm. kind of keep on the low low because mm -hmm. it's really not something that's open to, you know, to everybody, yeah. but yeah. Yeah, so so you get them out there and, and um, 
th th introduces them to either film and television or the print world or you know are they are you doing fashion magazines shows. fashion yep. shows uh, and we've yeah. already done last year we did um, high pair magazine um, we have done a few clients that know me and they come to me you know um, because they already know me mm -hmm. but again they're strictly all they're all students both male female children alike um, and even my my event the first achievement awards mm -hmm. some yeah. of them um, young people or alumni it didn't matter the age because some mm -hmm. of them had you know we, we had some mature people in the in the boot camp um, uh, for the first time they yeah. had never been in a fashion show oh wow they had never <laughs> been in a fashion show so it was their first time walking in a professional fashion show yeah. and I consider it professional even if it's not paid just because um, the element the environment we had industry professionals mm -hmm. you know we had um, people that were professional makeup artists that's what they did for a living hair people that did hair for a living designers who designed for a living mm -hmm. so they were in a professional environment so that was their first opportunity yeah. to walk in a professional style show yeah with everything being uh, um, produ uh, produced by you <laughs> yeah. well and then yeah. your production team was there too videotaping it yeah. filming it so they had to learn the background to, but yeah, yeah but they yeah. had that you know yeah. when are you going to start publishing I am so excited that you asked me that because I have a goal I've already started it um, um, I don't know if you still have your old handbook, the Molly Bootcamp handbook, but it's been Probably. quite revised. Mm. And so that's what it's based on. Um, I have a goal set for next weekend, by next Saturday or Sunday, a week, well, less than a week from now, um, I want to have it completely ready to be edited. And okay. that just means for them to review it, edit, make sure it looks good, and I'm, I'm ready to go. I want it to be available to the public in two weeks. In two weeks. That's my goal. Oh, available in two weeks. Oh my That's goodness. That's my goal. I'm self-publishing. Okay. Mm -hmm. One of the bootcamp alumni who was also honored, um, Kawano Stanley. Mm -hmm. She is an author as well, second author. Right. right. She now has her consulting business for self-publishing, and she's helping me self-publish. Perfect. I'm really surrounding myself with my own alumni. I'm kind of, oh. I'm kind of being selfish yeah. in that way. I'm kind of being selfish in that way. I really. Well, it's okay. It's good for us too. <laughs> yeah, I really want to um, let my alumni know that I am literally your biggest cheerleader. I'm here yeah. for you. Um, that's what I am. I'm on here because I'm a model coach. Right. You know, I'm on here on your show today because I'm primarily a model coach. And I, I have to wrap us up. Okay. Up. I'm yes. so sorry. No problem. I know we could keep going on. Yes, we could. But thank you so much for joining us here today, and Denisha. Please, let's do this again. Yes, yes, let's, yes. let's do this again. Yes. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye.